There was a time when good music was rock. Nothing has changed. This is Radio Spork. Awesome. 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 Nothing has changed. I'm Bongani Njoli, and you are listening to Radio Spork Awesome. In school, we often turned on the radio, searching the frequencies, hoping to hear our favorite rock bands on the charts, sometimes late into the night. Instead, many of us had battered cassettes, one side blaring Metallica Black, the other Offspring Smash, perhaps? Without the internet, we bought CDs from Musica, Limbiscuit, Red Hot Chili Peppers, Blink-182, Springbok, Nude Girls, and the list is endless. Yet still nothing beats the excitement and rush of hearing that band on the radio. And we know the feeling, we know the longing, it never leaves us. And with the internet, it's all changed. But the nostalgia lives on, and we're fucking proud to bring you edition three of Radio Spork Awesome. It's three fantastic bands, movie mashups, rock news, and the gig guide with Rob, and we chat to John Savage about his new movie. My name is Graham Robenheimer, and thank you for clicking on the link. Cape Town rocks! On the count of three, Name your favorite dinosaur. Don't even think about it. Just name it. Ready? One, two, three. Velociraptor. Favorite non-pornographic magazine to masturbate to. Good Good housekeeping. housekeeping. If you were a chick, who's the one guy you would sleep with? John John Samos. Samos. What? Did we just become best friends? Yup. Hello, Radio Spork. Awesome. Yeah, we're not going to lie. It was tough putting this show together. A few late nights dominated by coffee burps and yellow cigarette fingers. But we want to thank those bands that submitted their tracks for review. Just the support on social media has been rocking to say the least. So we're kicking off the show with Cape Town Indie Swooners, The Coast. They claim to promise to steal your girlfriend after every gig. And I must say, these four oaks mean business. Their debut EP All This Time, released earlier this month, is proving just that. Because I must say, for as young as they are, the production quality on this EP is surprisingly great. They have a clean rock style, they have complex rhythms, and it reels you in. They're promising, there is potential, but like any band with an EP starting out, it's still early days. Yeah, dude, I kind of agree with you, but this sound seems to be quite popular in South Africa lately. <laughs> if you don't know who this is, it's uh, Francois Nal. He's the guy who twiddles all the knobs and edits all the sound. Sorry, dude, what were you saying? <laughs> no, dude, I just think that the band's sound is very similar to bands like Short Straw and December Streets. And both of those bands have got a mainstream radio play. Yeah, if you turn on the radio these days, you do hear that clean guitar sound, that very everybody's having fun it's summer type yeah. vibes you know they're going for that two-door cinema club kind of like high-pitched guitars yeah. with like the african feel to it but as you said like they are still very young so you never know in a few years they True. could just grow and create their own sound and become comfortable with who they are yeah exactly i must say dude out of all those three tracks on the ep we listened to all of them the coast's last song start again is easily their best and the one that catches your ear it's got a punchy chorus great lyrics great guitars and we reckon they can only get better by building on this fluid sound. Number three. Hey, what's up? This is Josh from the coast, and you're rocking out to Radio Spore Gossip. In the spring, 
want to check out the coast's other material, the rest of the EP, you can go on to Facebook and Bandcamp. Radio Spork. Awesome. Canada gets a lot of flack from America, especially because of Justin Bieber. But there are some hidden gems in the Great White North. Bands, for example, like The Sleepovers. Here's a three-piece indie rock band claiming they began wanting to mix the rhythm, melody and pace of the police with the energy of The Who. But that never really ended up happening. Instead, they're hitting you with an emotive, hard-hitting indie rock party laden with thick bass, hooking guitars, and not to mention some amazing vocals from frontman Jeremy McFarlane. This is by far my favorite track for this edition, dude. You reckon? I, I really like the way it starts out slowly and it has a slow build up with the guitars and stuff. Yeah. And right at the end, it's just all in. I love that bridge at the end, especially for, they're just three guys, eh? Yeah. And it's, I think two of them are brothers, if I'm not mistaken. Anyway, I'd say this is one band for fans of Say Anything, The Strokes and The Hold Steady. And it's The Sleepovers with Friends Without Benefits. Number two. Hey, this is Jeremy from The Sleepovers and you're rocking out to Radio Spook Awesome. You can check out The Sleepovers website at thesleepovers.info forward slash and look out for another track of theirs called Rhetorical. It's pretty legend. Okay, here we go. News. Radio Walk. Awesome. News.
Our top story. It's been called the greatest rock story you've never heard. New movie Stone Cold Jane Austen is about a band with the same name trying to break into the Afrikaans music scene, starring comedian Rob Van Fieren and musician, writer, director and all-round dude John Savage. If you haven't seen the full trailer yet, we must say it looks friggin' hilarious. And almost every well-known South African artist makes a cameo in this flick from Francois Van Koch to Kurt Darren. <laughs> John Savage spoke to Radio Sport Cossum and told us Stone Cold Jane Austen has been in the works for some time now and it's becoming a reality with the help of crowdfunding. It started off as a cool idea among some friends and we started banding around these ideas and shooting a couple of ideas. Um, and I think at one stage we even wanted to be a real band. We had this idea to make the South Africa's most offensive punk band. And we went to NK when NK was still a TV channel and said, like, let's try and do this thing as a TV show. And once I had the pilot, um, I saw Leon Schuster. And Leon Schuster had said to me that he really thinks that this should be a film and that people should see it. Savage says it's an authentic South African movie. It has quite a lot of truth to it as well. And I think that I hope people will find it. It's not too slapstick. This actually might turn people off the film. The character in the film, he is such a douchebag. He does the craziest stuff. It's really the story of a band doing everything wrong. Which I think a lot of South African bands know that very intimately, including myself. And so I say, like, on another level, the film is about the part of myself that I really hate. You can catch Stone Cold Jane Austen at New Metro Cinemas on the 5th of December across South Africa. So that's your news. It's It's the Geek Geek Guide with Rob. So we got Rob on the phone because he couldn't get to the studio because he doesn't have money for petrol. It's that time of the month. Anyway, what's happening with the gigs, dude? (laughs) <laughs> well, the assembly is not to be missed on Friday the 24th as they have Johnny Foreigner. Boom, baby! Yep. Kind of wait. The Johnny Foreigner, who last tore up the Cape Town venue walls four years and two albums ago. They will be joined by Sakawa Boys, the guys from edition two of Spur Carson, and three other bands. You don't have to be anywhere else other than Spur until 9 p.m. on Friday. Saturday the 25th is as packed as Jam Alley, but these gigs are a must attend. The Sleepers and Sakawa Boys are at Manila Bar, and Paige Mack and the Kissmas are at Mercury. And if you haven't seen either of them, make the plan. Friday the 31st has zero chicks, just treats, such as Mercury's Halloween Slaughter 5, featuring Junkyard Lipstick, Strident, Moment of Clarity, and Bullet Script. And Assembly's hosting Halloween Friday with Short Store rocking it up along with various other acts. You could also catch Crash Car Burn at Arm Class in Stellenbosch and Jack Parra at Cafe Rue in Nurduk. Saturday, the Pinch and the Punch for the first of the month of November has the very wicked, the Sleepers, Love Glove Pyrotechnics, and the Playing Dead at Plain Libertas Theatre in Stellenbosch. Those are your gigs until the end of October. For more, go to www.facebook.com forward slash radio spookassin. Kata Rocks. Remember that time in Puerto Rico when we picked up those two, uh, well, I guess they were prostitutes, but I don't remember paying. Okay, how about that? <laughs> how about that? Yeah, yeah how about that? Terrific. Huh? I'm a person too, Pop, goddammit. I'm a person too. You're a moron. <laughs> okay. The best man, everybody. Best man, the better man. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Radio Spork. Awesome. Ah, oh, yes. A King's first album, Dutch Courage. It has all the right tunes. It's an album most of us here at Radio Sport Carson still listen to today. Back when CDs were still bought by the masses, many folks we know had a copy of this LP because it's that damn good. I love Holy Train. That's probably my favorite track from A King's first album. But unfortunately, like a lot of bands out there, something happened. They venture into experimentation and new sounds, and they're searching for possible reinvention. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that. This sound really just became over-polished to me. You reckon? Uh, I'm really just waiting for them to bring out that fresh garage sound, Uh. dirty guitars, raw acoustic guitars, and it just feels like they're also now and then just releasing the same old melodies over and over again with way more polished production. Yeah, I agree with you, and it's purely based on the other tracks we've heard from A-King since their initial offering in 2008 that has left us unimpressed, to say the least. But it's up until now. The Balville Rockers' brand new single, Man Unkind, from their latest album, Morning After, is, well, judge for yourself, I reckon. Dutch Courage is back. Number one. I wanna know, I wanna know, why do we live to reap when we don't sow? What difference do we make? 
Bags in the barbed wire Is it worth the waste Idols we create Driven by desire We weren't made to know This is Haney van Halen from A King, and you're listening to Radio Spookhausen. You can catch A King rocking Mercury for all time's sake on Thursday, the 23rd of October, featuring the ballistics and 50 bucks gets you in. These are the droids you're looking for. Kate Town Rock! After years of smoking and drinking, you do sometimes look at yourself and think. Yep. You know, just sometimes in between the first cigarette with coffee in the morning to that 400th glass of corner shop piss at 3 a.m. <laughs> you do sometimes look at yourself and think, Yeah. This is fantastic. <laughs> I'm in heaven. Hello, Radio Spook. Awesome. ba ba bu ba ba boom 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 ba ba bu ba ba boom ba doom boom Sound like a Cassio thingy with a boom, the boom in the background. <laughs> Thanks for coming out your shell, Francois, and joining me for the outro of the show. I really appreciate it. It's been a pleasure, dude, it's all in the name of rock and roll. It's been a fucking killer edition. Thanks so much for rocking out with us. We've already started working on our next show. That's right. We've got some big names. We can't yes. reveal. No, no. No. No revealing because this one's going to be big. Yeah, dude. Keep your ears and eyes peeled. You also please keep sending us any of your suggestions on Twitter and Facebook. So I suppose it's now that time of the show when we make a lame joke, but instead, I don't know. Let's just do this. Stay classy and rock on Cape Town. This has been a public service announcement brought to you by Radio Spookarsen.